So this is Sierra, this is Brody, this is Landon, and this is Sour. The title of my speech is How to Bake a Cupcake. And swirls of colors, glitter, sprinkles, all on top of a cupcake. I've been baking cupcakes for a long time, and from it I have learned that making them is a way to let your creativity run wild, and you can decorate it and make it how you want. For today's speech, I'm going to be talking about how to make a cupcake. And cupcakes have been a staple in many kids' parties, and they've been enjoyed by many. They've also been like things as bake sales and other events. Lately, bakers have been making a comeback and experimenting with flavors and uh, frosting decorations and all that type of things. And they have been appearing more and more in elegant parties, in TV shows, and baking shows. I know I may not be a baker, but I have been baking for a long time and I've taught myself and I've learned a thing or two about it. Cupcakes have a history, they are easy to make and they are fun to decorate. To begin, to begin I'm going to be talking about how cupcakes came to be. In uh, a blog that I was looking at, Mia, who is a cooking blogger, in her blog of the history of cupcake, Eliza Leslie, written in October 2010, she described how Leslie is the one that is known as the creator of the cupcake. Leslie decided to stop using the traditional ways of making a cupcake, and the traditional way was to weigh out the ingredients, and it took a long time, and she decided to stop doing it that way because she wanted something that could go by faster. So instead of doing that, she opted to use a teacup. And this teacup made the process so much easier because she measured out all her ingredients that way. And she wrote it in her recipe book and a lot of people started following it. And a lot of people argue that there isn't a creator of a cupcake, that it just sprouted out. But Leslie is credited for being the inventor of it because there's actual records of her making the cupcake because of her recipe books. And now that you have the history in mind, the recipe comes next. Betty Crocker, a well-known baker, in her book, uh, The Big Book of Cupcakes, that she wrote in 2011, she gives us a recipe for a yellow cupcake. And the first step is to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. And then the next step is to gather your ingredients. And they consist of two and a half cups of flour, two and a half teaspoons of baking powder, a half teaspoon of salt, a cup of butter, a cup and a quarter of sugar, three eggs, two and a half, two thirds cup of milk, and a teaspoon of vanilla. Along with those ingredients, we have some other materials that you're gonna be needing to use. And the things you're gonna be using are a whisk, a uh, cupcake tin, and cupcake liners, and of course the bowls and the measuring thing. Uh, the next step is to <coughs> grease your cupcake tins, and then you add the uh, cupcake um, liners. And the grease is just a uh, preventative to prevent them from sticking if they happen to overflow. The next step is in a large bowl, you mix butter until it is well mixed, and then you gradually incorporate sugar. And then once these are really well mixed, you mix in the eggs and the vanilla. In a separate bowl, you're supposed to mix your dry ingredients, which are the salt, the baking powder, and the flour. Once you mix those, you start incorporating them into the uh, wet ingredients, which are the sugar and the butter and all of the other stuff that you put in there. And you also incorporate the milk and you alternate. So flour first and then the milk next. And then once you get everything in there, you mix it until it is just mixed. And it's important not to over mix. And then you put them in the cupcake liners. You try to fill up um, the cupcake liner with about two thirds of the way of batter, that way they don't overflow. Then you pop it into the oven for 20 to 25 minutes and um, after they are done, you take them out and you let them cool. And the recipe makes about 24 cupcakes. And now for the fun part, Annie Brin, <coughs> a cupcake baker, in 2005, she made a book called Cupcakes from the Cake Mix Doctor. And she explained that the process of baking a cupcake is stress-free and it also requires less frosting than a regular one does. Um, she tells you how to make frosting, how to make whipped topping shells, so gives you ideas on how you can decorate things. 
She says that you can add food coloring and you can put it into a piping bag and create swirls of color in the frosting. She also says you can use flowers, you can use chocolate, you can use almost anything you can think of that is edible to do toppings for your cupcakes. And she says it is a fun experience because it lets you pick what you want to do and you have control over what you're doing. And the end of my speech is near, but after this you guys will know how to make a cupcake and you guys will be able to make one yourselves. Cupcakes are again uh, part of history. They have a origin. They are easy to make and they are also fun to decorate. And making cupcakes is a fun experience. It is with the process. You have free reign to do what you want. You can experiment with flavors. You can exper experiment with what you're decorating with them with. You can add colors. You can add basically anything you can think of. And it honestly is amazing how the ingredients that you used above when it is baked and decorate, how it can turn into something like this. 